hi everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to talk about this redux book app okay what this book app look like it is very simple application we are going to build it will have a book list and book detail pages okay so when you click on a particular book we are going to show that book detail in the right hand side so we can say that there are two major components we have one is a book list and one is an active book detail page so whatever the selected book you are selecting the detail of that book we are showing here and here we have a list of books very simple redux example after hello world it is doing nothing but we have a list of books which we are displaying here you click on any of these book items and we are displaying that active book here okay and we are going to do with the help of redux here so let's get started so what we need to do is first we will create our index.js okay in the index.js what we need to do is we will create import all different things we will import create store apply middleware and compose from the redux okay and we will be creating our reducers actions container components and all so here we are on the uh, you can see the root component and what root component is he is going to have is react dom dot render here we will have a root component okay this root component we already have before that we have to create a store so how we can do it is const store equal to create store first we will just use create store method of the reducer you can actually replace it with the root reducer Okay, this is what we are okay let's make it root reducer we are passing it and we are getting the store and store we are passing in the provider tag this is how actually we create our root component right we are actually passing the store for our child components we are creating store by passing the root reducer okay this is how we are doing it and in our case if you want to have middlewares and all these things then you can also pass it so here the second argument is actually initial state or third argument is apply middleware writing apply middleware if you are using any particular middleware you can actually pass it here currently we are not looking at it simply we are just passing the root reducer and creating the store and we are passing the store okay apart from that we need can create a folder structure like i will have actions i will have a reducer Reducers and container, containers. I mean container component and simple components. Fine. In the component, we will create our hello world component, which is nothing but in this we are going to have two components: book list and book detail. Here you can see we have book list and book detail page. So in the components, components we are going to have a. Uh, book list or book detail page so component first let's create a container component it will have a book list we can say and now this book list is coming from the redux we just close this so we got book list we got active book we can say here we will just show the active book okay so we created these two components and if we are coming to the actions actions will be nothing but book selected right we are not doing any manipulation here so if i just create this action then my action will be simple select book and we will be sending this action with payload to the reducer now i will create my reducers so i'm going to have a two reducers here one is active book reducer and one is a book list reducer so book list reducer will give me the list of books active book will give me the selected active book okay we'll see how uh, the state look like so state should look like something like this here i have a books here it can be array of objects okay array of object and second argument i have active book okay so i can use actually two different reducers book which will have a hard coded few set of books okay so here i will actually create two reducers first reducer will be just a list of books 
I will say list of books.js. It's not doing anything. It is just returning this data. And another reducer is active book. Here we will be actually handling that select book method in our function. So here we will write export function, export default function. So let's have a different view for it. So we can show more. Okay. So export default function here initial state is null. Okay, and we are passing action. This is the reducer I'm writing, and we have only single action select book. Okay, so we can have a switch block. In switch block, you are sending action dot type. So based on action dot type, we will create a case. Okay, case is book selected. Okay, when the book is selected, what we need to do is return action dot payload. I mean selected book we will send in action dot payload and in the default case we will return the state which we have return state this is my simple reducer I have created so I have two reducer in my code if you see I have list of books and active book reducer I can combine both both all these together so what I can do is I can create a new file can I do from here so how will I combine is uh, I can just write a code here then I will move it to another file so we just need to import both of these so we have two reducers so you can say root reducer and I will use combine reducer method combined reducer we are getting from Redux okay here we just need to pass the mapping okay books we are getting from books reducer we will be importing the reducers here so let's create a separate file only and we'll put that there okay so let's create those only save here we can actually create root reducer in the index.js and what it will have it will be just combining both the reducers together if you just see this it's simple books will have point to books reducer active book will be active book reducer we imported both of these so here I can say I think it is list of books and this is should be active book okay we got both the reducers now we got the root reducer root reducer we are already getting here in our code let me decrease the font size we are getting root reducer and we are passing it and we are creating store out of it now coming back to our component we have created actions we have created uh, a store reducers now we can write actually the components so first if we talk about book list component and we already know how to create uh, the container components and all right so first component we are writing is a book list so book list component will be a simple one now I'm just copy pasting the code because this is pretty much straightforward first I will write book list so we are using map state to props and map dispatch to props and creating higher order component okay this is my book list map state to props I'm getting the list of books here this is my component this is my first function second function and this is how I'm creating higher order component map state to props map dispatch to props creating this as a container component so wherever you see connect means that is a container component talking to the redux layer with these two helper methods map state to props map dispatch to props map state to props is helping us to get this particular state books map dispatch to props is helping us to trigger an action so we have to select a book right and once you got the book that data so what this map state to props is doing is it is mapping the redux state with the props for this component similarly map dispatch to props is mapping the actions in the redux with the actions in this component so book list you can actually click this dot props dot select book in the book list component you can access the books data in the book list component using this dot props dot books 
this is how we are passing so i mean it's a connected uh, higher order function which is taking it is returning one output function and then that function is still taking another component so it's like a component taking another component uh, as an input and returning another component okay we have these two helper methods now i got the books data so i can iterate on it and show the list of books and there is on click method so whenever you on click we are actually triggering this select book method with the help of this we already talked about this these two helper methods map state to props is helping us to get the redux state map dispatch to props is helping us to trigger the action to the redux layer map dispatch to props map state to props we are passing it similarly there is another component which is pretty much straightforward which is just fetching the active book detail we don't have actions there so if you see the active book we are just using this single method map state to props so what we are doing is map state to props if you don't want it to trigger an action you can pass null or just keep this empty because we don't need map dispatch to props helper method here connect we are using in book detail by doing this we are exposing the redux store to book detail component and with the help of map state to props i can access whatever i want state dot active books state dot books whatever okay so simply like in the book list we are accessing if you remember state dot books same data i can access here also nobody is stopping you from doing that i got the books also so there are two things in the state active book and books now whatever you wanted to do with the books but books is being shown in different component active book is showing in different component but you can access any property from the state by just defining the mapping so now this books data will be available as a this dot props dot books in the book detail component currently this book data is available as a this dot props dot book you can see okay this is pretty much very simple example we will talk more advanced examples where we have to make an api call we have to use this middlewares redux saga redux thunk redux promises redux logger we may be calling some external api calls and based on that we will send actions to the reducers to update the state okay this is pretty much about this book app i hope you like it in the coming videos we will talk about more these kind of applications with demo